In this demonstration, we're looking at an updated version of Joule's mechanical equivalent of heat. This is not the method he used, but it is simple and it works. We have placed 200 grams of lead shot inside this cardboard tube with uh, ends, placed ends on the end of the tube so it won't fall out. We'll measure the original temperature of the shot by sticking a thermometer in here. We'll get that temperature and record it. Then we'll do work on the shot. As the, I'm going to rotate the tube, the shot will rise to here, and then it will fall. As it falls, it gains kinetic energy. It hits the, the end of the tube. That kinetic energy is converted into heat. This would be done a, a hundred times, and then the amount of work that was done is computed from that. Um, the work done is the weight of the shot, uh, 0.2 kilograms times 9.8, times the distance, which is uh, something over one meter, we'd measure that, and times the number of times that it fell. That would give us the work done. Then we would measure the temperature of the shot again, of course the temperature of the shot has not increased much now, but in a hundred times it will have increased to uh, two, two to three degrees prob probably. We'd measure that temperature and we use it to calculate the heat that had been absorbed by the uh, shot. That heat would be equal to the mass of the shot times the specific heat of the shot times the temperature change of the shot. We could then equate that amount of heat to the amount of work done and get a conversion factor between the two. Joule did this in BTUs and said that one BTU is 800 foot-pounds. The currently accepted value is one BTU 778 foot-pounds or the English units in, in the metric, four English units, the metric units, one uh, calorie is 4.186 joules, which incidentally that unit was named after Joule because of what he did in this type of experiment.